Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I hope everybody had a lovely Christmas or holiday season and a peaceful New Year and enjoyed their New Year. I am back with a New Year art supplies haul order whatever you want to call it, from Jackson's Art. I was going to film this because I have a couple of bits coming from Cult Pens and I was going to order it together, but the order's delayed because something's currently out of stock. But um, this arrived today and I really wanted to film it because I wanted to use the this, this stuff that I've bought. So, we've got lots of little packages in here. So I'll get these out and move the box and go from there. So right at the bottom is another piss. Get it out. Is another pith sketchbook because I'm really enjoying using the one that I've got. I got this one in orange, the last one I got in pink, mixing mixing the colours up. I really love the pith um, sketchbook. So I got another one in that size. So that's the first thing. So I'll just move that over here. And well, we've got lots of small boxes. A lot of this is going to be marker pens and so Posca pens some pencils and I've got some acrylic paint so first up I've got Posca pens um in slate grey um, what colour is that? Grey, straw yellow, light orange, and I think that's fluorescent red and a white. So I went for the really thick. 4.5 to 5.5 millimeter bullet shaped nibs on those because I've only got one in that size which is a beige one so I wanted to get some more in that size I'm going to swatch everything out as well oh let's do one box at a time so and in the, this one here I have got Some two sepia ink ink tense pencils because I let's move these out of the way. I really love the sepia ink ink tense pencil. This is the current size of the one that I'm using, so I wanted to get two more in it. So they're just sort of backup ones, and then I've got some more Holbein pencils. Um, I'm enjoying using these on and off, so I wanted to extend my collection. So I've got Olive Drab, which, oh no, I've got a horrible feeling. <laughs> yeah, I've already got that one. Oh dear, when will I do an order where I don't actually have something? I haven't ordered something I already have that I didn't need another one of. I'm not talking about the CPU where I've, I've actually ordered them because I want the same book when I bought it from by mistake. Never mind. Um, I'll use it so it's not a problem. I've got the Luminous Opera Sepia. Let's do like a sepia and the Warm Grey number six. So I'm excited to try them. I've got more in here. I've got more Poscas. So I've got this is a 0.7 millimeter bullet in light green. 
back up um white ones so i'm just going to check that so 0 0.9 to 1.3 millimeter white i'm using the white poscas a lot for detail i've got a gold 0 0.9 to 1.3 millimeter posca a silver in a 0.7 millimeter um, a light orange in a 0.9 to 1.3 millimetres. So I've got another light orange because I like the look of the colour. Another white. I've got quite a lot of whites because they're just um, extra ones because I use them a lot. And a beige 0.9 to 1.3 millimetres because I wanted um, a beige. I already had this beige, but I wanted one in a smaller nib. Then I've got some Tom. Oh no, another Posca in brown in the 0 0.9 to 1.3 millimeter i've got some tombow which i'm loving my tombows at the moment um n52 977 n60 and 899 an acrylic in warm grey because I'm loving that because I think I would have that one and I wanted more of it and a raw umber liquitex marker Jackson's are really good these little um peanuts packing peanuts that they use are um biodegradable and they actually did um disintegrate in water so they're good for it eco purposes what's in this one golden acrylics i have one i think i only have one golden acrylic in the um heavy body i think it's a pink shade i can't remember the name of it but i wanted to, i like the texture of it so i wanted to get some more in the heavy body obviously golden do different um they do heavy body they do i think normal and they do fluid as well like they're really fluid ones which is a bit well, the next step up from an ink so in the golden heavy body i have got mars yellow light orange titan buff and Titan green pale. So they're going to be interesting. Let's move them over here. I'm going to have to decide where to pull up, put all of these while I'm going to swatch them. I've got two Amsterdam experts. I've not tried the expert ones. The ones that I've bought are normally are these, just the Amsterdam standard series. But the Amsterdam acrylic. Um, expert acrylic even have different colors um so i wanted to try some of these so i've got trans transparent um yellow oxide and turquoise blue i think that could be phthal or turquoise blue perhaps they still not about price the amsterdam expert acrylic so the the standard series is cheaper than the expert but they, they're not a bad price for either of them the golden acrylic is obviously more expensive than that and this one i've got again a standard amsterdam acrylic in naples yellow green and then what's in here oh one soft pastel in this is a jackson's um soft pastel i've not tried the jackson's soft pastels at all and i got the uh, fluorescent red soft pastel so i'm excited to try that i'll do that last because it'll be messy so Sorry. swatch in my royal talons sketchbook this sketchbook I've nearly finished it and I'm really excited to go through 
a sketchbook tour with you because I've got I um, really love the work that I've done in this, particularly in December of last year. It's December just gone, so yeah, I'll be excited to finish it and then take you through. Just find it pencil. Take you through what I've been doing. So this is Jackson's art. Um, Jan 2024 order. I'm gonna sharpen this pencil. I'm not gonna swatch the sepia ink new ones because I don't really want to use them because I've got one there. But what I'll do rather than swatching a new one, because I think I'm sure I will have swatched these before. Um, I need to take the labels off them as well, is I'll just quickly do the one that I already have. So as you can see, it's a really dark, inky brown. Let's get a brush. And I love the ink tense pencils. You can use them wet or dry. You can work into them as well. So you can work on the top like that as well while they're wet. So they are really good. I love having them in my art supplies. Um, very versatile. Sepia. So I definitely wanted to get two more of those. So I um so I, so I don't run out because I use I use them absolutely, absolutely loads. So, we'll do Holbein first. So, I've got Holbein. Again, I'll not swatch the olive drab that I've just bought in error. But never mind. I'll do the olive drab I already have. I, I like the Holbein pencils. They're a different... Um, They're a different pencil to the Derwent, what's this one? Derwent Lightfast, the Derwent Drawing and the Luminance. They, they're slightly different. Maybe a little bit more waxier, but no, not like a Polychromus. I couldn't get away with the Polychromus pencils, but I do love the Holbein. And you can get some lovely um, colors in the Holbein different to what you can get in the other ranges that I've just mentioned above. Oh, that's nice. It's See, that's a sepia, but it's not as dark. Obviously, that's a sepia ink, but it's got a lovely brown. I quite like browns at the moment. So it's sepia. They're really good for adding different details, different to your black, for example, softer. This is warm grey set. Oh, this is fab. Also very much into a warm grey because it's um got that brown uh like undertone to it, brown shade. So I do like a warm grey, say over a cool grey at the moment. So that's warm grey number six. And then this fantastic uh, Luminous Opera. I have one other Holbein Luminance. I think they're the only pencil. Well, they might not be the only pencil, but um, that does a Luminance, but they're great for adding detail. Where needed. So they're good. So they're the whole bang. I'll do the tombow next. So four tombows. I'm sure I check these. I definitely don't have these. I'm doing loads with my tombows at the moment. Really enjoying them. So again, tombos, you can use them 
they have um if they were dual end so they've got a brush end and a nib for more detail and you can use them dry or wet you can layer them up so that's an n60 so you can sort of wash it out a bit like that Then we've got, what's this one, N52. These are like bluey grey shades, which are nice. See, oh, that's a lovely colour, I like that. A very good cloud colour. Um, N77. Not N77, 977. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to using all of these bits in my work. Um, particularly the Poscas and these extra Tombos that I've picked out. It, they'll really fit in with the work I'm doing at the moment. I'm just so inspired recently, which is great. I did lots of things in December, which I'm looking forward to showing you when I finish this uh, sketchbook. And I'm just really enjoying my sketchbook work at the moment and where it's gonna take me and things like that, so. These supplies are really, really going to come in handy. That's a really nice colour. That is um, 899. You can see there's a kind of similar theme going on with these. Lots of browns, a couple of orange bits, bluey greys, things like that. Um the odd bright thing creeping in. I'm not going to bother swatching the white, white Poscas. You've seen these before. That is obviously a large nib. So I'm going to do some of the large ones anyway, so you can see the size of the nib. I'll do the beige um, Poscas, even though I have swatched this before. So these are the Poscas. Now, with these, you obviously have to shake them. Apologies for any outside noise you can hear. You have to shake them and then really, really work them to activate them and get the it flowing that's going to come in really handy I love the beige that's going to be great for detail because it's a thinner nib so it's going to be great for detail work so that's beige right well I've just had a look actually and I have a pos I have a beige Posca in the size that I've ordered that I've got so that's that's two things that I've bought that I already have which I haven't realised so I really need to sort out my stuff and check before I order things oh dear right so we'll do gold and silver which I won't use much of it's more for detail again but be nice to have the odd one. It's great because you can get different nib sizes in. In actually, um, I have some Molitor markers which I need to start using more of. Um, but you can get different sizes in quite a few 
ranges of acrylic marker pens, which is great. Oh, I was thinking, will this ever come through? But it's come through now. Oh, I like, I like them. They're both good. It's like um, that's got a very fine um pin type nib, whereas this one is bullet shaped. So that's gold and silver. Oh, I like that. It's like an apricot colour. I like that very much. Yeah, I love that. Love that colour. That's going to come in really handy. So that is... Obviously these are good because you can cover more more ground with the, the larger nibs than obviously with the smaller ones. So if you do like Posca pens or want to start using them, it's good to get a one maybe in each size to see which one that you like like pick a color that you like and or pick a couple of colors and get one in a smaller one and one in a larger one just to see what sort of nibs you like to use this is straw yellow now i like that i'm not a massive yellow fan but this will come in handy for bits that i'm doing Nice straw. These are great for working on top of as well. Straw. You can work over the top of them with various things, um, which is good. Let's do brown. Yeah, I like that. And we've got light green. Ooh. This isn't the type of colour that I would use lots of, but nice for like different accents of things. It's like a bit like, like a minty green colour. What's this one? It's weird how like one of them is going plastic. And the other ones haven't so that's strange like this is wrapped in plastic which is a bit annoying so this one is great yeah I like that it's just a a nice gray color it's like a cute a cool tone grey compared to a warm tone grey. And then this one looks more of a blue grey. So this is slate grey. Oh, yes. I love that. That is lovely. Yeah, I love that. That is slate grey. Slate grey. Spell it right. Um, what we got left, Posca. This is the fluorescent red. Wow. I love that. And I'm going to use that on something I've already done. And I had an accent of the Holbein fluorescent, the luminous red, which is a fantastic pencil. But that is even better to add that extra pop where needed that goes fantastic so the only other marker that i've got is this liquitex now disclaimer may have said these in a i think i said this in a video that i'm not keen on the liquitex pens that i've got they are large i don't know whether it's the color 
or it's how they dry. They dry very streaky. Let me just get one. I have two. I have the Titan, Unbleached Titanium, which I do like the colour of. And then this parchment, which I'm not as keen on the colour of. And these are 8 to 15 millimeter ch um, chisel, well, like chisel tip. But they dry, I find them quite streaky. I'm not, and they dry quite shiny, whereas the Poscas don't dry shiny. So I'm not a big fan of those. I have used them and I will use them up. Oh, but I'm not, they're not my favourite. I prefer the Posco, Posco, Posca even, or even like something like the Molotov marker, which I don't have money of. They might be something to get more of. However, I've seen, I'm a patron of Emma Carlisle, and Emma has talked about, and I think, is it somebody else I follow as well? It might just be Emma. Emma has talked about this Liquitex Raw Umber on her Patreon and how good it is for like outlining um, like illustrations and using it. I think she said she uses it maybe in life drawing, but also to outline. So I wanted to try it. And this is the smaller one. Hopefully won't be as shiny. It's, it definitely smells a lot stronger than say the Posca. And I do love a raw umber, a brown shade. So we will give that a go. So that is, and see how we like that. Um, but I'm not gonna buy really any more Liquitex ones because um, in the larger size, because I'm not that keen on them. I will look at something different or just stick with the pop Poscas. So that is this page so far. So we've got the pencils all there, Tombos and the Poscas and the Liquitex Raw Umber. I'm really happy with all of those. So what I'll do, I think that's dry, is we will do all of the acrylic paints here now oh the other thing to mention with pens so like even with tombos and say watercolor mark or like watercolor pens the molotovs poscas liquitex i'm storing upside down because i'm not as fussed with them but i tend to store the rest of them flat um rather than upside down and stuff. I think it just keeps the flow going from what I've heard anyway. So I like to store them flat. So it's just an FYI really. So let's continue. So Jackson's order, Jan 2024, continued. This one here, I already have one of, and this wasn't bought in error. I love the, um, I love the colour and I'll be using it a lot. So I wanted to make sure that I had um, more of it. Amsterdam, I should have bought it in a large one really, but um, I quite like um, these little, these are, are they 20 mils? What does it say? Yeah. Gosh, right in front of my face. Um, 20 mils. <laughs> These are the 20 mils. These are 120 mils. And I think you can get one in between. Maybe this size. What size is this one? This is 75. So I think even in the standard, you can get them in 75 mils as well. But 
this was like one pound one pound twenty i want to say let me look have a look Oh, £1.60, which is not bad. And it, it depends how you're using acrylic, obviously, as to whether you're going to use a lot of it, um, as to whether that would be the right size. But look at that colour. It's a gorgeous... See, this, I love titanium buff. So that's like a titan buff, which will... I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. This is like a warmer version of a tight titanium buff I'm just gonna move that a bit closer and i love that i'm going to show you i've got some ideas for upcoming videos um so i'm going to show you um basically how i use my acrylic paints um in those because i don't really paint with them if that makes sense i have done i do like acrylic but I use them with um, my jelly plate, which I'm loving. I've been on a, a journey with my jelly plate, so I might talk about that in an upcoming video. Um, I think it's like a three year journey that I'm on at the moment. But I think I found my groove with it and I really love it. Uh, you can use it for all sorts of things, a jelly plate. And the way I'm using it at the moment, I'm really loving. So there's lots of things that you can do with them. And you don't have to use acrylic. You can use um, printing ink and things like that. I just happen to like the different colours that you can get with the acrylic. So I'm really loving that. And the textures. So this is Naples Yellow Green. Oh, I love that. Like that. I love a Naples yellow. I've got a Naples yellow in the Amsterdam. I think it's a light Naples yellow and a Naples yellow red. I want to say in a light. And I love these off, off white, you know, very pale colors. They are really hand, handy. So they are the standard just put the standard and then we've got the expert which i've not used the expert ones before but like i say they have some different shades tail the standard so this is amsterdam and again not massively expensive transparent oxide yellow how much for the expert so let's do a comparison so this size here in the standard was one pound 60 this is the standard series 20 mil standard series 120 mil is four pound 40 and look how much you get for that and i'm sure that these are light fast as well i think that's what the little stars are but you just need to look on jackson's then you've got the expert one so this is a 75 mil and this one is seven pound 60. they were both seven pound 60. so as you can see the the standard one's cheaper, but you get more range or a different range in different range of colours in the expert. Oh, I love that. I love a transparent colour and I love these like ochre rusty yellow colours as well. They're like one of my favourite. They're not like when I said I'm a big fan of yellow, like those type of yellows or the bright yellows. I love oh, I've got that on there now. I love these um oxide, like ochre rusty colours. 
Well, I love that. Put quite a lot on there, so it's not gonna. I love that turquoise color. That is fab. Right, hopefully she's still with me. We'll move on to, these are gold. So these are all golden heavy body. So what should we do for it? Oh, it's too tight. Yeah, let's do tight and buff first. I'll do that, I've got it everywhere. I've got my turquoise everywhere. I love a Titan, Titan buff. I just love it. And it's nice to get it in different, um, let's try and get all this turquoise off here. So this is Titan. It's nice to get it in different textures. So a fluid acrylic, I bought the, um, the acrylic, the golden, sorry, acrylic fluid. I've got a little bit of that turquoise on there. I love that in the fluid so obviously that's it it's sort of a next step up from ink so acrylic ink I would say you've got acrylic ink then you could go golden fluid then probably the regular acrylic I think they do in a regular one a regular one and then a heavy body let's do Titan green pale loving these pale colors so good so what's this one what does it say titan green pill clean the brush off so that that turquoise on it oh i love that that is a bit like a grey, a grey green colour. Love that. Yep, yeah, really happy with that. Then we've got light orange, which I'll try and work. I'll do it on this side. Get it away from that. Um, oh. It's very, it's a very, 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 I like that. It's very close, that Posca colour. And we'll do this over here. We'll have to do them. Oh, I like the look of that one as well. So that is Mars yellow. I love a Mars colour. And this is, what's that one? Light orange. My memory is not, oh. Just put my finger in that. Light orange memory is not great. Um, right. This water's not the best now because that turquoise has gone everywhere. But you see how thick that is. You can get some amazing textures with that, whether you're just using it as um, like with a brush or say a catalyst tool you could scrape into it it's very 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 thick um great for building up textures or even if you want to use it on the jelly plates and you've got you know it's such a different texture to it oh that's amazing as well i love that that is a gorgeous yeah i love that Good for coverage as well. Look, that covers, nearly covers over that turquoise. Well, not now I've watered it down, but if you put it on quite thick, that would even cover over. So, that is, that is all my acrylics. I've got them covered in turquoise. Acrylic, but <laughs> um, Amsterdam warm grey. Naples yellow green. Transparent oxide yellow, phthalo blue turquoise, Titan buff, Titan green pale, light orange, mild yellow. 
So I think out of these, I mean, it's very hard, but I love this tank green pale. That's gorgeous. And the yellow green as well. Love them all. But if I had to choose, it, maybe with the blue. I love a pale colour at the moment. So they're fab. I love them. I'm really happy with them. Well, now I'm going to tidy up <laughs> my mess and actually try and organise myself so I don't end up buying things if it's somebody outside with a motorbike. I do apologise. Buying things in error. But I've only bought two things in error. So I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for watching. If you have stayed with me to the end, what should we put? If you stayed with me to the end, put love those poskas. And thank you for watching. And I will see you in another video. Bye for now. I just forgot that I got that. How could I forget that? So this is fluorescent red. I'll have to carefully do that. That is amazing. So that is Jackson's own. Oh, I love the texture of that. Fluorescent, oh, making a right mess of this. Fluorescent red. That's amazing. Fluorescent red. Um, Love that. I don't think I'll buy loads of the Jackson's ones because I do love the unison. But they, again, seem to be the only one that does a fluorescent colour. So, how could I have forgot that one? Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, this has not been the best. Or, um, in the sense of I've made a right mess now towards the end. It's all gone. It's all gone a bit. Never mind. <laughs> Anyway, as I've said, if you stay to the end, um, please put love those poskas in the comments. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have any of these or you want to buy some of them, or if you do end up buying some because of what I've shown on here, do let me know. I would love to hear from you. And I'm definitely going now. 